done. And they got home and the painting was finished. There was a note taped to the frame there, that's the original frame, and it said, it's done. And she had got a handgun and committed suicide. And uh, the mother, she had too much attachment to the painting because of that. And she put it up, uh, well, she didn't put it up, she gave it to the grandmother. And the grandmother was the same way. She didn't really like having it around because of what it made her think of. So she put it in the attic. Uh, years and years later, this was about almost 2000, uh, they had an attic leak and they had to get rid of all the stuff in the attic. And they were, they lived near me. And she said, I know that you like things with odd stories and collect things that are unusual. And I can't throw it away. And I know no one else I can give it to you. Will you take this from me? And I said, of course. And I took it and it's been hanging in my home ever since. And how did you feel when you, like, you first saw it and you take it? Like, did, it did it have a... It's an unusual feeling because it, on one hand, it's a gorgeous painting. I absolutely love the painting itself. But then it, it's Somebody story. maybe are old enough so the audience can see it. Then you know, the story itself is so sad and imagining how that woman felt while she was doing it. And I've seen pictures of her and it, it's her face. Yeah. It's a self-portrait. One of the more interesting stories when we do the seance, it's really amazing what people bring in. Like, you know, you just you never know, and that's what drives the show, and the show is so different every night. Um, but yeah, that's that's a great story. And that, that, that remember the story of the um, man that brought the the dog's teeth, his dog's teeth that he had made into a necklace, and the dog had been hit by a train, and uh, the dog was his best friend and everything, and he brought in the teeth. What else have we had recently? The uh, cremated ashes, we get a lot. Uh, you know, we get a lot of pet remains of these shows. Uh, we, have, we have three or four cats on the table. <laughs> various forms from hairballs to when I see to that, birds. When I see that painting, though, I don't get a negative. I get kind of, it's just sort of the last thing that she wanted to do. Like she was just ready to move on. That's you know, I don't look at suicide as necessarily a, like a tragic, sad thing. It's like, hey, I'm ready to leave.
Who's the proud owner of that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Come on up. 